Hi everyone and welcome back to Comfortable English. My name is Sarah Comfort and if you can't tell by this tree behind me, today we are going to be talking all about Christmas. In the description box below, I have made some video resources for you that has all of the phrases and vocabulary words that we're going to go over today. So do be sure to check out those video resources. So let's get started. In the United States and probably in most English speaking countries, when you walk into a store during the season or if you see anyone, someone will likely say, Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays. This is just a typical greeting that someone might give you. I know at least in the United States, people say this all the time. I could be checking out my groceries at the store and the clerk, when she says goodbye, she might also say Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays. So what's the difference between Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays? Well, as you may know, not everyone celebrates Christmas. There are a lot of seasonal celebrations going on during this time, like Hanukkah or Kwanzaa and of course Christmas. If you just want to give a generic holiday greeting, you can say happy holidays. So something Court and I did today was we went and got our Christmas tree. A lot of families will go to Christmas tree farms or you can go to a store like Court and I did. So we have our Christmas tree and we put lights on it and we also put on ornaments. An ornament is just a decorative item that you put on a tree. Our ornaments are round, kind of like a ball, but you can have ornaments that look like anything. Growing up, my grandmother would always send my brothers and I ornaments every Christmas and my brothers would get Star Wars ornaments. So they would have a Jedi with a lightsaber and my grandmother would send me Barbie ornaments. My mom loved the Wizard of Oz. So if she could find them, she would always send my mom an ornament with a Wizard of Oz character. So you can have an ornament of just about anything. We have a lot of these circles and little bells, but we also have a few special ornaments. Another thing that Court and I like to do during the Christmas season is we like to make Christmas cookies. These are an easy sugar cookie recipe and we will always dye the icing different colors and we have a lot of fun decorating them to look like candy canes or like a Santa Claus hat. We always have a lot of fun. If you want the recipe, I'll be sure to put it in the description box below. Another great part of the Christmas season is the movies that have been made about Christmas. Oh my goodness, so many great movies. If you want to learn more about American Christmas culture or holiday culture, or even just hear some more Christmas vocabulary, one of the best things you could do is watch some Christmas movies. I promise they will put you in the best mood because they are so fun. Some of my favorite Christmas movies are Elf, it's all about Buddy the Elf in New York City. I also like the claymation movies, A Year Without a Santa Claus, and also I love the Santa Claus. If you had to watch one movie, I would watch the Santa Claus. I'll be sure to put links to all of these movies down below. And of course, because it's Christmas, we give gifts to each other. So before you can give a gift, you have to wrap a gift or a present. I am terrible at wrapping gifts. I'm so bad. But Court, he can wrap a gift like a pro. He is so good at it. It makes me a little jealous. But it's always fun to get someone you love, something that they've wanted for a long time, or a really fun surprise. 
Now you may have heard the story of Santa Claus, but Santa Claus is a huge part of American Christmas culture. I remember as a kid, my parents would always say right around November or December, if my brothers and I were ever misbehaving, they would say, Santa's watching because Santa has a naughty and a nice list. If you are on the nice list, that means you get presents that year. But if you are on the naughty list, that means you do not get presents this year because you have been naughty. My dad always used to say too that if we were naughty, we would get a lump of coal and it always scared my brothers and I into being perfect little children for at least a couple of weeks. But the story of Santa Claus, and if you watch the movie The Santa Claus, you'll see what I mean about this story. But Santa Claus leaves the North Pole with his reindeer and a sleigh full of gifts, and he goes to children's homes all over the world. When he gets to their homes, he lands on the roof, comes down the chimney and puts presents around the Christmas tree for the children to find in the morning. Something that we used to do as kids every year was we would leave milk and cookies for Santa Claus. And we had a special plate that we would put them on. We would also put carrots and oatmeal on our front porch for the reindeer to eat too. So that is just a little bit about Christmas. I hope you liked this video today. If you did or if you learned something, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, please be sure to hit the red subscribe button. I hope wherever you are in the world this holiday season, if you are celebrating Christmas or any other holiday, I hope that you are surrounded by the people that you love and that you have a very blessed holiday season. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.